Joining us this morning to talk about this tool is Dr. James Mullins. He is the CEO of the uh, Flame Systems. Thanks for being with us this morning. Walk us through how this system works. Good morning, Stephanie and Jim. Well, look, our system really enables us to put firefighters in front of virtual fires. So much like the Weather Channel uses augmented reality to, to showcase uh, severe events, we can use virtual reality to, to show firefighters what it's going to be like. We can heat them up, we can give them all of the forces of the hose and, and give them that real experience of being in some pretty extreme wow. fire types. It's almost uh, 4D, it, it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, and, and most importantly, you can see how they react to teach them from their mistakes uh, as well, right? Yeah, look, we all learn from our mistakes and having an instructor standing side by side with the trainee uh, firefighter uh, is really critical in, in the learning process. So this, this is a technology that allows that. Now, does the equipment they wear also simulate real life situations? They wear all that gear like we're showing in the video when they're using the virtual reality? Yeah, exactly. Part of being a firefighter is getting used to wearing um, you know, pounds and pounds of gear and, and, and also experiencing the heat. So we can heat you up to about 160 degrees Fahrenheit uh, and, and really simulate being inside burning buildings and, and wildfire situations. So this system is being used in the United States. Uh, how many fire departments actually have adopted yep. this and are training with this system? Yeah, look, we're, we're a, a, I guess, a brand new company. We're a startup. We've been operating for a couple of years now, and we're in about 16 countries. Uh, the biggest user of our technology in the U.S. is, is the U.S. Air Force, actually, for, for training their aviation firefighters. Oh. So is this expensive for departments to implement? Well, look, it, it is virtual reality technology, so it, it's not the the... the the cheapest technology, uh, I guess, any technology that's new is, is relatively expensive, but it, it's a technology that goes into training schools and groups of, of firehouses. So maybe not the individual smaller firehouse, but the bigger collective groups are, are tending to buy them together. So James, I wanted to ask you, I mean, have you been able to go back and actually look at uh, firefighters that have had this training? And you know, are you seeing a, just a tremendous improvement in their skill going out in the real deal? Well, that's right. Look, it, it, we really do see firefighters come back to us and say, look, you know, I, I didn't know this was what it would be like. Uh, you know, people get so immersed in virtual reality that, uh, you know, we, we've had one student that lent on a, a virtual car that wasn't there and fell over because they were just that immersed in the training. Mm. Uh, you know, we, we really see that the feedback is critical. We're seeing firefighters getting less and less experience in some of these bigger jobs, thankfully, because we're not seeing them. But when they get a big job, that's when this kind of training really kicks in. And, and you really need to train for the unexpected. Yeah, well, Dr. James Mullins, we got to tell you, this is really cool stuff. stuff. And congratulations and best of luck with everything. Of course, he is the CEO of Flame Systems.